hello guys welcome back to our channel so photoshop elements and premiere elements is out in the market and uh, we know that uh, previously photoshop elements 2022 and premiere elements 2022 was not native for m1 and these were intel based applications so this year photoshop elements and premiere elements are out in the market natively for m1 machines in this video we are going to talk about how to run and how to install the native m1 apps for photoshop elements and premiere elements and how to launch the applications because there is still one component which might need rosetta to be installed on m1 machines so let's see how it works so i already have the installers downloaded on my machine photoshop elements and premiere elements 2023 for how to download i'll cover that in a later in a different video in this video i'll simply skip to the part where i have already downloaded the installers and how can i install the native m1 app and how can i launch it okay so here is the installer this is a very lightweight installer which is approximately of size of 2 to 3 mb uh, so this is 15 mb my bad but at least it's a lightweight installer you don't need much bandwidth to download the installer at least once you have the installer you can just simply click it so the beauty of this installer is that the same installer can be used on an Intel machine as well. So based upon the architecture of the machine, it will automatically fetch the application based upon the architecture of your machine. Basically, if I'm running this installer on an M1 machine, it will download the bridge for the M1 build. But if I run this is the same installer file on an Intel based machine, it will download the Intel based application. Okay. So generally it asks me for a sign in because but because I have already installed previously on this machine uh, an, another Adobe app so it did not ask me for the sign in and it is automatically picking it up so it simply shows me this install option screen where, where I can choose any of the languages that are supported I can choose the location I'll go with the default setting so I just click on continue and to see how fast the installation is please see it's 8:52 am right now and see how quickly it may go okay while the installation is going on let's check if the installer is native to m1 or not so how to do that simply open your activity monitor search for the process that's running okay so i think it will be Installer, something should have come up over there. Let me check. Mm, the strange thing is, the installer is not showing up. I think there's some issue with the activity monitor. But see, it's, it's already 16% done within just less than a minute. Alright, let's launch the activity monitor again and see if I can see the process over here. <coughs> so guys there is some issue with my machine but i can assure you that this is an m1 installer i have seen it previously i validated it myself but if you want to check it for yourself just open the activity monitor hit right click over here and enable the option kind and then you can see the kind of application it is so if you see apple over here so if you see uh, M Mac of 64 or M1 over here, that means it's a native M1 app. If you see Intel, that means it's an Intel based application. Okay, alright. Okay, so I got it. Okay, so let's see. So you can see it's it's Apple. Okay. If I click on information. Put uh, nothing useful over here. <coughs> mm, all right. See, in two minutes it's seventy-eight percent. Oh, fast. Okay, let's wait for the installation to complete. It's already eighty-three percent, eighty-four, and so on. So by default it gets installed in inside your applications folder which is over here okay so elements organizer 2023 is already installed i can also check the build number it says m1 which which also shows from adobe that it's an m1 build for photoshop elements also you can check the build number it's m1 support files editor so here it's again m1 
that's great <coughs> see 855 am so in 3 minutes in 3 minutes the installation is complete that's great all right so now you can see i have installed adobe photoshop elements and i'm able to launch it natively on m1 so again to check that it's native or not let's check the kind the kind is apple okay uh, all right uh, now let's see how to launch it so here's the trick now the application itself is m1 native but the license component that validates your license and the serial key is still intel based so that means you would need rosetta to launch the application but the application would run natively so this doesn't impact anything it's just that for the launch you need rosetta but after that it will run natively that means it would be faster and as expected for an m1 machine okay let's see what happens if so right now i don't have rosetta installed on my machine because that is the expectation from a normal m1 user so let's see how to install rosetta so when i click on photo editor okay, let's see what happens so you see here i get the option to open photoshop elements and premiere elements you need to install rosetta do you want to install it now so here apple also gives rosetta enables intel based features to run on apple and silicon max reopening applications after installation is required to start using rosetta i think that's fine so there is no harm in installing rosetta guys i can assure you that rosetta is also a part of apple itself so it's already installed so see how quick it was so i just i've just quit all my applications so that i can relaunch and see what happens <coughs> okay so, so let's see what now happens when i click on the photo editor so this time as you can see i get uh, the sign in screen i just click on sign in so there are two options if you have a serial key if you have purchased the software you can activate it using the activate now button but if you don't have a serial key and you want to try the software simply click on try now and start your free trial for 30 days it's a great product they have made huge changes in this version of element and i'll be making more such videos depicting how to what are the major changes in elements 2023 one of the major change they have done is support for cloud documents support for cloud in elements that means you can upload your media to cloud access it from anywhere upload it from web access it on desktop so this is a very huge feature which i'll be creating video on very soon so just to give you a peek here's the button for elements web all right so that was all for this video guys please share your comments if you have any quick queries please feel free to post it in the comment section don't forget to please subscribe share and like and as i said i'll be creating more such videos very soon on this elements 2023 thank you again guys see you soon bye bye